Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Luxinar podcast. Uh, today we're going to talk to you about the laser technology uh, for the automotive industry. Uh, in the following slides, uh, we will uh, address uh, different topics and uh, we will first start with uh, a brief history of, of the company, uh, where we are located and our facilities. Uh, our product range, we also look at the markets uh, where our lasers are used and we will finally touch on three uh, CO2 applications for the automotive industry. And the last topic uh, I'll, I'll like to touch about is the application uh, lab where we can process samples. So Luxinar uh, has been established uh, in uh, 1998, 22 years ago. And over the last 22 years, we have launched some major products uh, to the marketplace. Uh, for example, the uh, multi-scan uh, VS and HEs, which have been the, the fastest uh, marking system uh, in the, um, available in the market. And they are still today uh, the, the fastest CO2 uh, laser marking systems. We have also introduced in 2004 a 600 watt laser that was the first ever uh, sealed 600 watts laser available on the market. And for that technology breakthrough, uh, we win, we won a uh, Queen's Awards uh, for innovation. Uh, we built on this success and over the, the, the coming, the following years, we also got a, a second Queen's Award for international trade and growth uh, in export markets. And we reach uh, turnover in excess of 30 million uh, pounds uh, in 2017. Last year has been a major um, year in, in our history. Uh, we rebranded the company and we are now uh, Luxinar uh, Limited uh, in the UK. Uh, we've launched the, uh, the new branding at the uh, exhibition, laser exhibition in Munich uh, last year. So, we are, uh, as I briefly mentioned earlier on, a, a, a UK company. We're based in the northeast of, uh, of England. Uh, we've got a brand new factory, uh, which has been uh, built uh, according to, to our uh, needs. Uh, and we moved into this factory in 2018, uh, 2016, sorry. Uh, we are uh, 173 employees at the site. Uh, and we also have uh, six uh, sales offices, uh, uh, two in Southeast Asia, two in Europe. The sales office also based in the HQ uh, in, um, in Hull and uh, uh, sixth one in Detroit. All these offices have sales and technical support uh, facilities so we can uh, support technically and uh, from an after-sales point of view, all our customers uh, around the world. In terms of our, our product range, we've got two families of, of products, uh, the sealed CO2 uh, laser sources and the multi-scan marking system, uh, which I've touched earlier on is the fastest in, in the marketplace. So for the, uh, the sealed uh, CO2 laser, we've got a, a first range called the SR series. And this one is from 80 watts to 250 uh, watts. These are pretty unique in, in the marketplace because they are IP66 uh, uh, rated, uh, which means they are fully sealed and there's no ingress of any kind of water, dust or... or any elements which could contaminate the, uh, the beam. The, the range carries on from 350 watt to one kilowatt. And all these lasers have been designed uh, with industrial applications in mind. So they are extremely reliable. Uh, they are also easy to maintain uh, or, or to service. And I would even say that they are you know, uh, maintenance free to a certain extent and being sealed. Uh, the, and one of the uh, major um, characteristics of our lasers is they all come with at least 20% headroom uh, compared to the uh, rated uh, power. So that will give you extended uh, lifetime uh, for all the laser sources. The second range is the multi-scan. Uh, so this has two 
uh, products within the, the range, the, the Multiscan HE and the VS. They are basically the same modules with, with the same 125 watt laser, uh, water cool system, power uh, supply, electronics, um, software, beam delivery system, and scanners. Uh, but one, the HE, is uh, designed for harsh environments, uh, whereas the VS is more uh, for cleaner. Uh, sort of environment like a clean room or uh, uh, you know sort sort of uh, lab. Uh, both of them are plug and play, uh, and pretty much uh, once they they've been installed, you can just forget about them, and, and they're going to uh, mark your product uh, continuously. Uh, in terms of the uh, the markets uh, where we we operate and where our lasers are, are used, here are some some examples of of the markets. Uh, obviously, the, there are far more applications, but I would say these are the most significant ones, uh, ranging from uh, medical, glass, fashion. Uh, fashion is an interesting one. Uh, this is for finishing uh, the denim and making the um, uh, the jeans. Uh, uh, stone washed looked like uh, and, and also uh, worn off. Uh, electronic market packaging where we would do a kiss cutting for, for example, uh, stickers and, and, and labels and uh, food and beverage industry where we're going to make some micro perforation uh, to allow the, uh, the packaged uh, vegetables and, and uh, fruits to, to last longer on the shelves. And one we're going to talk more specifically today is the automotive market. So within the automotive market, we've listed here uh, 19 applications where our lasers are used. So th they range from, um, you know, windscreen wiper, uh, cutting rubber or, or marking rubber, to paint removal uh, of in the spoiler uh, to bond them onto the, the body of the um, of, of the car. Uh, there are also applications uh, with the um, safety belt, security belt, cutting the uh, the textile. Uh, but today we, we're going to look at the e-mobility and the uh, electric motor, uh, and also how we can bring the laser beam to the, the, the workpiece. So in terms of the e-mobility, uh, stop and start motors, the, the, the components are made very often uh, of um, uh, copper strips, uh, which are uh, dielectric coated uh, with a coating to, to, to prevent short circuiting. Uh, but during the process, the, uh, the coating, the enamel, has to be removed in order for the components to be welded together. Uh, the coating can be made of, of different kind of, of material, PEAK, PFA, PA, PI, uh, and the thickness of this coating can also uh, vary from, from applications to, to applications. So there are different ways of removing this, uh, this coating, uh, and the conventional method would be uh, to use mechanical tools. Uh, there are several issues with, with this method. The first one is a, that it's a contact uh, kind of, of process, so uh, you're going to damage the, the surface of the copper. But most importantly, uh, you're going to remove a thin layer of copper. The copper is an extremely expensive material, and, and therefore you don't want to, to lose the, these uh, fine particles of, of copper over a period of time. It, it could be worth a lot of money. Uh, so an alternative would be to use CO2 lasers. Uh, this is a totally contactless uh, process, so you don't damage the, the, the copper surface. There is no ablation, no loss of, of um, copper uh, material. And also, being a digital uh, process, it can be changed very quickly with very little uh, downtime uh, and very little changeover. Uh, no tools or very limited number of tools are required in, in this process. So very versatile, uh, very flexible. Uh, and here we've given an example of uh, you know what we've done in the past. So to remove roughly thirty-one. 
uh, square millimeter of, of uh, enamel, uh, it took just about three, three seconds, 3.1 seconds to be exact. So very, very fast uh, process. One uh, other component you, you'll find in, in, the, uh, in, in cars or, or component is plastic. They, they're plastics everywhere. Um, and uh, the laser CO2 lasers can easily um, process plastic components, whether this is for cutting, drilling, ablating, um, or, or, or just marking. Uh, and you can find out that with most of the plastic we, we, we can process, the, the, the processing speed is linear to the uh, power of the laser. So very easy to, to anticipate or to forecast what kind of, of process speed you can get according to the laser you're going to use. So here again, we, we've given you some, some examples of uh, parts we've, we've processed with lasers, so ABS, HDP and PP. And what's common with all these uh, materials is that there is no need for a post-processing uh, process or, or cleaning process. The, the edges are very clean, uh, so you can use the part directly uh, after uh, being processed by a laser. Again, it's a digital tool, so uh, no investment in, in tooling uh, and jigs or, or very uh, limited uh, investment and the changeover and the uh, downtime is also extremely quick. So what, what's interesting with laser is that yes you can process all these components but how do you bring the laser beam to the workpiece and here we're going to talk about robotic applications. Uh, obviously on the production line automation and speed is, is key so having uh, being able to uh, bring the, the, the work, the, the laser to the workpiece uh, from an automated point of view and, and a robotic point of view is extremely attractive for uh, uh, car manufacturers. One method, uh, as shown here, is to mount the laser on uh, the robot. Uh, uh, and, and that means that the, the laser has to withstand uh, several G's, uh, acceleration forces, uh, when, when, the, the, laser, when the, the robot moves. And our lasers are designed to, to, uh, to handle these uh, acceleration forces. Uh, they're also lightweight, which means that the, the laser doesn't need to be, you know, heavyweight uh, sort of, of a laser structure, uh, a robot structure. It's, uh, it's well... Uh, designed for, for this kind of application. Uh, but you will need a uh, fairly complex uh, beam delivery system with either a scanner or a cutting head at the end of, of the laser to, to, to process the, uh, the component. So that's one method of, of bringing the, uh, the beam to the workpiece. The second method is to uh, have a stationary laser and either a moving component in front of the laser uh, and that's what's shown in the uh, video uh, at the top of the screen where the dashboard is presented in front of of the uh, of the laser beam and manipulated to show the different um, faces to, to be processed uh, here uh, these are micro perforation on the dashboard um, called pitching the, the second method is also to have a uh, stationary laser on, on a frame, for example, but now the, uh, the beam will be taken to the workpiece through a robotic arm. And this is what we, we're seeing here. Uh, the, uh, the laser head is cutting excess material on uh, eight pillars in, in the car, uh, and the robot is only handling a lightweight articulated beam delivery system. Uh, the laser is on the white frame right at the back of, of, of the screen. Uh, you can just see the, uh, the, the frame on which it sits. Uh, we're going to see the, the laser uh, slightly you know, better light uh, in coming. Here it is right at the back. So here the laser again, uh, as I said, is stationary and the robot is only handling a lightweight uh, beam delivery system. 
you have on the uh, in the left hand corner the finished products where all the excess material has been taken off. Uh, so, to, to support our, our customers in terms of proof of concept, we have a uh, an app application lab uh, in, in a hall at the headquarters. Uh, we also have smaller labs uh, in, in different uh, offices around the world. But here, what we do is, as I said, really proof of concept. Uh, a customer has an idea of, you know, making holes or, or cutting material on a component for automotive, for example, they will send us uh, some samples and we are going to use a range of uh, uh, equipment to uh, be as close as possible to uh, the, the process they're going to design. So as you can see, we've got a, a robot cell uh, where we're going to have um, a cutting head uh, which is going to be uh, manipulated by a robot to follow the contour of uh, 3D uh, complex uh, components, exactly as we've seen in the, uh, the previous video. Or we could also have a uh, 3D scanner arrangement, that's at the top of the, uh, uh, of the slide here, where we can process a uh, fixed large uh, working area. Um, so we will choose the, the, the right equipment according to the customer specifications. And we have obviously some uh, measurement equipment to make sure that uh, what we've done for the customer can be uh, measured uh, and also meet their specs. So here again, uh, I want to emphasize these are only equipment, pieces of equipment used for the uh, proof of concept. Uh, we do not sell uh, the, the full system, it is really to, to help the, the customers uh, designing their, their own solutions. If you want more information about you know, what uh, the laser uh, can do, uh, feel, feel, feel free to contact us, go on our website where you're going to find far more information. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, you know, we've got uh, 20 years of experience, so we should be able to support you uh, in many different ways. Uh, our lasers are from 80 watt to a kilowatt, so we should be able to accommodate uh, most of your applications. Uh, and we are not restricted to the automotive industry. Uh, the, the example we've taken today uh, during the web um, conference was just an example, but we, we operate in far more uh, markets and sometimes even market we can't think about. So, you know, uh, be adventurous and just send us your your, uh, your samples. Um, here today, we've seen some specific applications on e-mobility, plastic uh, parts processing uh, and robotic applications. But again, uh, we are involved in uh, packaging, um, electronics so again you know don't hesitate to, to contact us and our lab uh, will um, help you in your proof of concept uh, and uh, finalize your 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 ideas and your um, design uh, thank you for listening to this um, webcast uh, again more information on our, uh, our website luxinar.com uh, where you'll find uh, the whole product range, applications, and, and um, tips and uh, products we, we, we could uh, offer you and markets we, we, uh, we're involved with. And you can also contact me directly uh, on my email address there, and uh, I will respond uh, very quickly to, to your request. Thank you very much for, for listening, and uh, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.